Hi, this is Lance from Langchain. So OpenAI just released GPT-40 or Omni today, which is a pretty exciting release. It reports um, both significant improvement in non-English languages, much faster uh, and cheaper in the API than the prior state-of-the-art GPT-4. So that's actually really exciting. Um, and it also incorporates multimodality. So, you know, both audio, visual, as well as text. So that's a really good thing. Now, the question you might ask is, let's say you already have an app you're using an OpenAI model, like say the state-of-the-art GPT-4 Turbo. How do I make a decision about whether or not it's actually safe to upgrade to this model? And then when we talk about safe, we can mean that, that can kind of mean a few different things. So on one hand, you can think about, um, are there any regressions to the performance of the application itself? Like I have an app already, it's using GPT-4 Turbo, I'm using a bunch of prompts I've already tuned, and do those prompts just translate over to the new model seamlessly? Do they exhibit some odd behavior or regressions that I actually would want to characterize, right? Anytime you actually change the model in your application, you should really want to investigate, like, okay, how does the performance of the application actually change? So that's one. And also things like the user experience. Now it reports better latency, but like, what is that actually? Does it actually work in my case? So how does the user experience translate if I change my app from, for example, GPT-4 Turbo, or let's say I was using another app, like GP one of the GPT-3.5 variants, given the new cost here, can I make the leap up to, G to now GPT-4 Omni? Um, and what are the implications on like, you know, the performance of the app itself or things like latency? So those are all things you'd really want to examine to determine whether or not it's actually safe to make this switch for your user. And you can really think about this in, in kind of three different pieces. I have a data set of examples. For example, in this case, I have a RAG app um, of input-output pairs that are kind of my ground truth input, my ground truth output, right? So I have a data set. I have an evaluator that I'm going to show you how to define that'll look at my ground truth answers versus my RAG app answers. And I have a RAG app that simply takes in GPT-4 Omni versus Turbo as a user-defined input. That's all I really need to do. And then I'll show you how to use the UI in Langsmith to really dig into the differences, uh, i.e. look at regressions or improvements that come if I upgrade my app to Omni. So that's really it. So here's just some code. I'm defining an index here for RAG. I'm taking the Langchain Expression Language documentation, which is around 70,000 tokens of context. It's basically a subset of our documentation. Um, and I'm creating a vector store locally from that. Then I'm defining this RAGBot class. It's a super simple app. It takes in OpenAI and a model name. Um, actually doesn't use Langchain at all. It's just using the raw OpenAI wrapper, um, or a wrapper we have around the OpenAI API. So it's like super simple, does retrieval, uh, basically does generation with a standard RAG prompt. Nothing, you all can use a local model if you want with Olama, but in any case, here's all I need to do. I'll define three different functions, which simply instantiate my RAGBot with different settings. So here I'll use GPT-4.11.6, GPT-4 Turbo, 4 Turbo, and then GPT-4 Omni, the new model. That's it. So basically, I have three different uh, functions that all use my little RAGBot with different GPT-4 versions. That's all I need to do. Um, second, my data set. So I've already created a data set in Langsmith. You can actually, if you go to, if you go to Lang, if you go to Langsmith, you can uh, go to your data sets and testing tab. My data set is defined right here. It's called L cell eval, um, and I can look at examples. And over in examples, I can actually see here's all my ground truth inputs and outputs. So th again, these are inputs and outputs related to the documentation I've built my app from. So this is all consistent. Um, so that's really all I need to do in terms of data set. In terms of evaluator, I'm going to build a custom evaluator that's going to take, uh, see this reference is the reference answer here. So this is for every given question, I have a reference answer. And it's also from my chain going to get my RAG pipeline prediction. And it's going to compare my reference to the prediction using this prompt right here. So this is all super transparent. Um, it's a really nice, simple way. All I have to do is basically use um, you'll see down here, but this Langsmith evaluate function uh, that I can pass this this uh, evaluator function into. It's super simple, um, and that's all I need to do. It's basically going to take in my run and my example. So the run is like my chain. The example is the example from my data set. It can extract from my run uh, the predicted answer. It extracts from my data set example the reference answer, it compares them using this prompt here. I use LLM as a judge. In this case, I'm using GPT-4 Turbo as the judge. Um, and it outputs a structured object as grade, which I'd specify here. And I normalize that. Uh, so it's the raw scores between 10 best, one worst. Normalize that by 10. So it's one and 0.1. That's all I need to do.
super simple. I run evaluation on my three models right here. And we can then go over and we can look at our data set. It'll now have three experiments. So that's what you see right here. So you can see my experiments are GPT-4, 11.6, GPT-4 Turbo, and GPT-4 O, or, or sorry, GPT-4, uh, yeah, Omni or O. And what you can see here, which is pretty nice, the answer accuracy. So you can see my, I can see my answer accuracy, this is now the aggregate score, goes from 0.84, um, 0.84 up to 0.88. So it does increase, and you actually see that in this plot here, it does increase between my three experiments. So it does appear that Omni is indeed better than the other two variants in terms of answer accuracy. Now let's say I also want to look at latency. This is the other major thing that's, in fact, this is really the thing that uh, they really highlight with Omni. I can look at the, the, the latency, P50 latency between the three experiments, and I actually can see the latency shows a big difference. So, you know, between tur GPT-4 Turbo, which is the prior state-of-the-art in this model, the latency drops actually quite a bit. It looks like maybe a 30% latency drop here. So that's really good. So you can see my P50 goes from 23 seconds down to 16 seconds. And the answer accuracy, as we showed before, increases. So that's kind of a clear win there. And if the cost uh, you know, benefits carry over, then I would know pretty definitively, this looks like a really safe upgrade for my particular app um, in terms of latency, in terms of my evaluator accuracy, and in terms of cost, which uh, we actually don't, we actually do have costs typically logged, um, but we don't have the costs yet in for this model, I believe. And so this just came out today, but you'll have that available to you very short, very soon in Langsmith as well. So if I want to dig in deeper, I can just click these three experiments. I can go to compare and this opens up our comparison mode. So here, what's pretty cool. I can set a baseline. So in this particular case, I'm going to set 11.6 as my baseline and I'm then can compare, uh, turbo and uh, GPT-4 or Omni. And what I can see as I go through, I can see all the cases that I should get worse or better. And you can see it summarized at the top, two get better, four get worse. In this case, six get better, three get worse. So we, again, we can see that Omni improves, which we also saw from the aggregate scores, but you can really look granularly at each example and see why it improves. Um, you can click here to actually open up that particular um, ex that particular example. You can dig in, here's the reference input, reference output, here's my three generations. You can really look granularly and explore whether or not uh, you agree with the evaluator. So this really gives you a nice way to granularly go in, convince yourself that it's safe in your particular case to upgrade to the new, new GPT-4 Omni. And if I zoom all the way back out, in our particular case, this is just, again, eval set, 20 questions related to language and expression language, what I can see is uh, the, I'm going to bring up the latency as well. The answer accuracy gets better with GPT-4 Omni, which is great. The latency drops quite a bit. So that's also a win. And if the cost reduction is as reported, then this would be a clear win, a safe upgrade in my particular case. Thanks.